This video is about the sum and a product of roots. For polynomial function f of x equals this, we want to figure out the sum of roots and a product of roots. For this general polynomial function, let's take a out. You will get x to the nth power plus b over a x to the n minus the first power plus c over a. For polynomial function, we do have a factor the form. Let's write down a times x minus x1, x minus x2 times x minus xn. Organize, you will get a times x to the nth power minus x1 plus x2 plus xn, x to the n minus 1th power, then plus negative x1 times negative x2 times negative xn equals a times x to the nth power minus x1 plus x2 plus xn x to the n minus 1th power plus how many negative sign we have? We have a n negative 1. So we get negative 1 to the nth power. Then x1 times x2 times xn. Now we compare these two polynomial functions. The coefficient of x to the n minus 1th power will be equal to each other. So we have a negative x1 plus x2 plus xn equals b over a. Constant term will be equal to each other too. So we have negative 1 to the nth power x1 times x2 times xn equals c over a. Then we organize x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus xn equals negative b over a. And uh, x1 times x2 times xn equals negative 1 to the nth power c over a. For the sum of roots, it is negative b over a. Product of roots equals negative 1 to the nth power times c over a. For y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we know x1 plus x2 equals negative b over a and x1 times x2. Negative 1 squared will be 1. That is a c over a. But for cubic function, y equals a to the x third power plus bx squared plus dx plus c. The sum of roots equals negative b over a. The product of roots equals negative 1 third power will be negative 1. So negative c over a. In other words, when n is even for the sum of the roots equals negative b over a. For product of roots equals c over a. When n is an odd number, sum of roots still negative b over a. 
but product of roots equals negative c over a. Let's go to example. The cubic equation x to the third power minus kx squared plus 3k equals 0, where k greater than 0 has roots alpha, beta, and alpha plus beta. Given that alpha times beta equals negative k squared over 4, find the value of k. Since uh, we already know all the roots of this uh, cubic uh, equation, we can use a uh, sum and a uh, product of uh, roots uh, formula. For this uh, cubic equation, we have a equals 1, b equals negative k, c equals uh, 3k. The sum of roots equals negative b over a. We plug in alpha plus beta plus alpha plus beta equals negative b over a will be k. Organize, you will get 2 times alpha plus beta equals k. For the product of roots, x1 times x2 times x3 equals negative c over a because this n equals 3. So we have negative c over a. x1 is alpha, x2 is beta, x3 is alpha plus beta equals negative c over a will be negative 3k. Then we organize. We know alpha plus beta. From here, we can get uh, alpha plus beta equals k over 2. Then we plug in here. For alpha times beta is given here. Negative k squared over 4 times uh, k over 2 equals negative 3k. Then we have a negative k to the third power over 8 equals negative 3k. Multiply by 8 both sides, negative k third power equals negative 24k. We know k is not equal to 0. We can divide it by negative k both sides. We will get k squared equals 24. Square root k equals plus or minus square root of 24. And k equals plus or minus 2 square root of 6. Since uh, k is a positive, so we get final answer k equals positive 2 square root of 6. This will be the solution to k.